Hello folks and welcome back to Raid Report. Last time we spent all of our money, spent like f millions literally on all sorts of stuff, upgrading the farm and making our perfect farm. So you have to go to our finances, so all in all we spent three and a half mil on new equipment and three mil on construction. So yeah, a couple of things has well, one or two things has changed since last episode. For one is, I've cured the frame rate issues, because I thought, get on that straight away, and, yep, yeah, not going to mess around, so, what I done was, I removed two of these greenhouses, we've still got four over here, and I did sell the war points, and, because I'm on multiplayer, I was able to get rid of that 200 mil you would get for the water, so, yeah, we had about 200 mil, so yeah, that's gone over to the local authorities account and one thing I forgot to show in last episode which I'm going to do now so tab over to the right equipment there we go so yeah here we are at our old farm we're still going to have this farm but I think it's like the sheds and that may not need as much you yeah, still got the cultivator up here and that do I think in storage I can't remember Oh yeah, our furniture spreader and that, but to be honest, we've got enough space down at our new farm that these could be moved down. And really, this could be used as a little hub and that, for productions and that. Because yep, yeah, so and did move our, yeah. I know, yeah, two, two new juice factories, I'll just get confused there by the position there. So yeah, got two new juice factories, so our custom from inside though. But yeah, to be honest, I'm thinking about possibly getting rid of this. So then what I can do is tidy this up. So I think I'll do that first of all. So what I'm going to do, as always, or should do, always, save the game and then we'll go from there. Ah, so right, that did not work. And yeah, that is completely messed up now. Try to do that landscape from this side, tidy it from the other side. Got some money back from the equipment. I'm not equipment to sheds and that, but yeah. So yeah, that was a mistake when we first set this farm up, so anyways, moving on, so since that's well not dealt with, but yeah, taking care of, so now what we need to do is start planting our field, so I've gone over in last episode about I want to create a mega field, so if I get the big map up here a sec, so it feels one, two, three at the top. That's gonna be one big mega field. And I'll make extensions west of that towards the green silo. Not the green silo, uh the green western whatever ranch, whatever it is. Four and five. That's gonna be merged together, and I will extend that all the way up to where the forest is. Nine, ten, eleven, once we've done the mowing, we'll go and take care of that. And then, yeah, I think, yeah, 4 or 5 done. 14, 15, 16, 17 is going to be one big field. And really, that's it, really. Yeah, I know 6, 12, and 30 could be also merged together a little bit. Because, yeah, they're not perfectly merged now, because we did keep them separate. So, yeah, maybe, again, one few things could be doing this episode. But, yeah, on top of that, I want to do was, yeah, we did do February. And we're in March now, haven't done March yet, so I think what I'll do is I'll get that taken care of first of all. But yeah, it's gonna drive down this way and yeah, just sort of again, have a show off the farm now, like this is our dream farm that. Or my dream farm at least, it's got everything we need. Got literally hundreds of bees and that, and yeah, pretty expensive at 25 grand to place, but to be honest, I'm thinking I'll put more down. You know, for the yield bonuses now, like on each mega field. Uh, maybe, maybe not. Oh yeah, dang it, I forgot to do it down at the main farm, at the workshop, but since we're up here now, let's go and service this. Because yeah, we bought this one second hand. So yeah, may as well just give it a little service, so... There we go, not paying for grand to repaint it. Four grand for servicing, so what I'll do is I'm gonna get a work on this. 
I want you to go up north. And yeah, we'll start work, working from north and work our way down. Yep, I know field one is grass field, but I'm just going to plow that. And yeah, plan is to extend the boundaries as much as I can on every field. And then yeah, we've got planting to do. We may do that in the next episode. Really, the only things I'm thinking I'll put in now, crucially, is a little bit of spring wheat. Then, yep, because yeah, we need some chicken feed in. Yeah, we could do sorghum, but sorghum has an expensive chicken food in that. Cotton, popular, I'm not sure on that. But yeah, cotton, sorghum, and yeah, even potatoes, sugar beet, and definitely corn in that for the corn dry we bought it in the end of the last episode, so... Actually, yeah, did I even turn that production on? Yeah, turn it on. So, yeah, we're getting corn being transferred over. We're getting the corn from our greenhouses, our big mega ones by Mrs. Omatana, so... Yeah, that's all looking good. Yeah, so the girls are going to work over. So, we'll go and do that. And really, yeah, just go anywhere in the field, not too fast. So yeah, whilst you're doing that, we'll take care of the methane cells because I want to get the spinnery just across the road from the farm and that is, what, 60 grand I think it was in the end? Yeah, if we can do that, get that cotton underway, get that sent over, combine that with our sheep we've got. So yeah, I'm pretty sure I bought our sheep as adults, right? Go to your sheep. Yeah, eight months old, so they are perfectly fine. So let's go and do our propane cells. That's propane. So 32,000 a year should get a fair bit of that. And then, yeah, that's for February. We'll do marches now. I was just going to spend 30 grand on the propane, but as we know, propane is worth it doing this way, doing our monthly cells to the propane. And that's been exported elsewhere. Don't know where, but that's none of our business, so... Yeah, overall, maybe hitting 100 grand, but then again, remember, I've got to spend 32 grand on propane, so... Ain't gonna be too bad. So we had the second load done, so 2,200 plus another 52,600, so... Yeah, not too bad at all, so... Now, let's head over to our plow, so... Do that. Set it to create fields. And yeah, we'll get stones in that. And to be honest, do we do it outside of not well, outside of the cabin? Do we pick up the stones now? Because we're gonna have a lot of stones in that, especially plowing all this. Oh yeah, I ain't gonna plow the grass field just yet. Cause yeah, we do have a planter now that I could do multi-fruit crops and that is technically a direct drill so don't need to worry about that so yeah for now I think actually what we'll do is if we start doing the headlands yeah, not going to the roads and then yeah we'll start working our way inwards but yeah see what I mean here by getting all this extra space all those extra acres and hectares in. And yeah, actually, this plow is going to take a bit longer to do, so I've got an idea. I'm not sure if it's going to work, but I'm going to give it a go at least, so bear with me just a sec. And this is what I come up with. This is, in fairness, this was credit to Drive 53 Gaming, who made a video on this very recently, like earlier on today, as of recording this on Monday. So, yeah, it's probably out midweek or towards the end of the week, but yeah, so we've got the Winter Phoenix by A2 Studio, we got the Best Way Trader by Sergoy Modding, we got the Rear List Rear Weight, I can't remember who that's by, but all credits will be down below. And we've got the a massive plow, so I think what's that, like a 26 meter plow? Something on those lines, so we've got all these items. Yeah, 26 meters, so yeah, all this is leased, and that only cost us 
14,275 bucks to the so yeah did a bit of finishing off on the working out for the boundaries up here yes yeah, going to drone mode so yeah, I'm gonna go down here so you start from here head on down get as close as I feel comfortable to the rocks and then I'll start looping around go back up and then yeah once we get up here we'll sort of go towards the end yeah we'll go right towards the edge of the road also I did spend a little bit of money on trying to smooth some of these areas out and oh yeah I forgot there's a bell here from old contract work so free money that is and yeah come up here to serve up here and yeah also I'm thinking as we head up here I'm thinking of just going straight across as well yeah, it ain't gonna be fully uniform than that, full round field set the worker off, but again, it's something different than that, like So yeah, uh leave the help menu open up a sec, so what we need to do is unfold the cutter trader, because yeah, this is really designed for your headers now, like your combine headers. And to be honest, I was thinking about getting this trader that, but I thought eh, maybe not. Yeah, so I may not even go for it afterwards, but I'm going to use it for now to get this plan done. And yeah, that section up there we're going to do afterwards. I'll do that with the other plow. So yeah, we need to the plow. Say yes to create fields. Get rid of that help menu. And yeah, this is a little bit, I admit he's a little bit of a fast farming trick. Oh yeah, I'm gonna go shoot speed, I know you can go about 50, 60 miles an hour with this, potentially. Like already, I feel comfortable at Big Barry doing 20 miles an hour, so... I'm sure what I'm gonna do is gonna get the cruise control all the way down. So yeah, then, what I should do is, keep the cruise control on. Focus on what I'm doing, my driving. Yeah, occasionally I'll go manual to throttle that. For little bits like that. Ooh, okay, don't go to the roads. Oh, that is super close to the roads. Actually, we're in the road now, almost pretty much. So, yeah, we'll just make sure when we're driving, don't go into the fields. But, yeah, so, actually, you know what? Let's go full throttle. See how much we can do on this little stretch here. So it's going to be a little bit bumpy. I will admit to that. So 50 miles an hour. So yeah, 50 miles an hour. You start skipping bits. So I'm going to go over those afterwards, and that. But yeah, overall not too bad in that. So yeah, this is going to be the best way. Yeah, I know best way to get all this plan done. Because yeah, I want to get all these fields plowed. Oh yeah, I know I said I was going to do this with the grass, but just for the bits that need some merging, oh, I don't mind cutting in the bits. But yeah, so you see the idea of what I'm doing. So yeah, I'm going to spend some time now getting all this done. Once it gets done, before nightfall. And in theory, you should be able to, but... Oh well, yeah. It's going to be awkward doing like, these little sections over here and that. Um, Perhaps thinking of little bits like this in the future now with the other fields. Maybe just save that for the other plow. So yeah. This ain't gonna take us too long at all for sure. So let's do a little short time lapse. Get everything done. And I'll see you folks afterwards once we're done here.
and there we go. So we're in March to now, seven o'clock, and actually just need to make a small correction here. Let's just send out the thumbnail for the last episode. So we'll turn that off and alright. Need to just skip ahead a little bit. There we go. So yeah, we've been busy, so yeah, overall the plan itself that took us what? An hour and a quarter or so, give or take. In fairness, the longest job actually was the liming, so we limed every field. There's some fields that need liming, the grass fields need liming. But yeah, that could be done once we've gone and cut those. So yeah, I've got some equipment over there already, but that's going to be tended in the next episode. So yeah, let's go overall with what we've done here. So first of all, let's we'll go over here. I will go over the equipment in a sec because I did make some minor changes because of a lot of it has to do with game crashes and that make the game a bit more stable for me and that and including swapping out the John Deere for a fence so yeah first of all we had a small field here at field 23 and what I've gone and done is I've just extended it by quite a fair margin so yeah overall not too bad yeah, we'll move to what you start normally on Ravenport, and as you can see, I have plowed up the entire lot. So, okay, fair enough, there's gonna be. Try do some light so soft softening, but. Yeah, fair enough, so the little softening that got quite expensive landscaping. That's why in the time lapse, I sold some wood chips and that. I didn't sell it all because I left with about 33,000 years left and the rest of that I chucked into the hay mixer and that, or the hay dryer and that, so that is one of the components for fuel. So overall not too bad, so yeah. Gone done a mass extension. Pretty much removed this entire path in over here. And fairness I could have gone a bit wider over here but then we'll get to this arch over here and once again this is where we're running into issues with landscaping and that. Like I'll, I'll try to find bits of landscaping here and there, but to be honest, I'm gonna see how we're doing during planting. If for whatever reason we need to do more landscaping, I'll just get the wood chips in that. 170,000 litres, and yeah, that's be a good job done. Next, if we move up. Not as significant, but yeah, just done some minor extensions down here, as you can see. But yeah, plowed up all of this section over here. And I think if we tab over to here, this was something interesting because, yeah, first of all, done an extension on field 7. However, I realised we can extend that to field 8, and then pretend and then our grass field, so... For now, we're still going to do the grass. I think we've got canola in here as well. Yeah, got canola all over here and that. Yeah, actually, if we keep this up, then we can actually see the extent of our extensions. But yeah, pretty much everything's been limed. And four and five has been merged. Some minor extensions up here. Can't go over the road in that. But to be honest, this area over here, I'm considering making that a bit of a forestry area. Just double checking to make sure we actually own that land still. And then, yeah, fills one, two, and three. Pretty much just extend it around the edges. And of course, that little loop over there that we've shown. So, yeah, overall, we are looking very good here. So, yeah, now with the equipment, I sold our old lorry and our header trailer. Because, yeah, with the Demco, it's nice and that. Don't get me wrong. But we was having issues with it snapping on that. Actually, in fact, it wasn't snapping on, so... That's why I'm going with the best way that we use for the ploughing. And yeah, the reason why I had that weight on during the ploughing, that's because it, that enables fast farming. I think in the future, uh, I will just stick with normal farming techniques, with just whacking the plough in there and doing it manually. And I went with, like, a sort of military-ish olive green. Something a bit different, that. And then lastly is we've got a base game fence. Because yeah, we just have a game from 700 horsepower to 673. 
but the disc hour requires a bit of a voice break there. Requires 620 horsepower, so overall, it ain't gonna be bad. Worst case scenario, could just use that or something. So yeah, overall, we're looking good. But back to times one, my bad. And to be honest, I'm thinking, let's start with the drilling. So, we need to do the following crops. Cotton, corn, and wheat. That's the three main ones I want to do. To be honest, I want to do some root crops as well, so sugar beet and maybe potato, so that's five, maybe six. And yeah, if we look at our fields, we've got one field, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. What my thinking is, let's actually do the grass now. Yeah, actually that's just a while because I'm thinking the field sound here we can do grass potentially and then once that's ready to harvest the canola just double check in I should know that is wheat actually sorry so actually yeah I'm thinking yeah get that cut then all of this could be a massive wheat field then I'm thinking corn up here, Nat. Or should I even small field corn there? Do sugar beet up here. I should have cotton up here. Sugar beet could be down here. And then, yeah, cotton. So, yeah, let me actually give it straight a sec. Wheat, sugar beet, corn. And yeah, that leaves us with grass and potatoes. So, to be honest, I don't think we actually need potatoes at the moment. In terms of our productions and our animals, the pig food, I'm just going to buy it as is. And yeah, to be honest, we need potatoes. I could just grow some in the greenhouse. Like so. And to be honest, yeah, overall looking. Yeah, it's more just sugar beet we need than anything else. So. Let's do popular and that, get some wood chips. Oh <laughs> uh, no. Now, no, don't worry, you ain't gonna do that, so. To be honest, I'm thinking get the planter and start drilling the grass in. Nothing in the use market at the moment. Actually, no, I said. Let's do the potato, not potatoes, the bathing that, so. Obviously, we've still got a little bit of a grass field left. Yeah, let's check it out. Oh, that's, that's a distributor, so I was like, looking at where though. Yeah, I could do get some more seeds and fertilizer in. But yeah, that could be done later on. Yeah, we've still got that small grass field, so we'll go and mow that and bait it. So, overall, all this is going to be sided. So, we'll mow it, bait it with a quick bell, but we're sticking with standard sizes, so. Yeah, 125 centimeters, so what's that, about 10,000 meters, I think? So let's go and lower this. Just swath drop in. There we go. And like so, we are mobile. And yeah, what we'll just do is just do a little test strip up here. And then we can get the beater out. There we go, looking good. So yeah, we can. That's gonna be enough. Next we'll hop into the beater. Because yeah, I want to see what the actual size is this gonna be, so there we go. And there we go, so we're baiting. Right, so looking at size, oh no, that's the first chamber that is, it's going to be a bit smaller than that, so, so we're looking at 7,500 litre bells. Fair enough, so that's going to be a lot of bells, but obviously if you want to, we can just lift them and chuck them, but when it comes to loading, I will be sticking to the 800, so 
Don't worry, I'm not going to go all cheating that, so... I think overall, we're in a good position here, so... Let's go get this moment done. Shouldn't take us too long. And then we'll see where we stand afterwards, once we're done here. And there we go. We are done with all the bathing. And yet, yeah, to be honest, overall we've done a mixture of square bells and round bells. To be honest, I was finding turns with sizes and that. It wasn't that much of a difference, only like 500 years or so. Oh yeah, it means we got 220,000 years of grass from end silage. And also, I picked up that one little rogue size bell one found in the field. Oh yeah, I think what I'll do for now is I'm going to leave this on the trader. I'm going to leave this near the shop. Maybe because I want to maintain my frame rate and I'm not sure how the game's going to act with all these bells at the farm. But yeah, so we've got a fair few sacks of 4s and 2 sacks of 3s at the back, so that's 4, 8, 12, 16, 32, plus 6, 38, plus an extra 1 bell there of silage, so 3 like bells we've got here. And yeah, I think we've done like 42, 41 or 42 ram bells. And a fair few more square bells, including some I left just as grass. Why? Main curse for animal feet, so... You know what? Head up here now. Where the old... Where the old path used to be here. Because, yeah, we head back to the farm. And then, yeah, things like spraying, like this field, are not too fussed about. Bees will get removed during the drain process. There's more of the canola fields. And, yeah, obviously I did this rather than time lapse. Seemed done bathing many times before, and don't want to do too many time lapses all together at once. So yeah, anyways, set back to the farm, and then we will resume from there. So right back at the farm, left the bells at the north farm. So yeah, what I'm gonna do is split it over here, park you up, and give you the quick wash. In fairness, I didn't really use this for much now. It's more for Pulling the bells in that because I had the two cases on the wind rowing, bathing, wrapping, and all that. And yeah, I knew to take a hand could technically push the bell or pull the bells, but yeah, it's got a small engine, so I thought put this string on it. And one thing I want to do is I know what herbs like to do, but what about the fertilizer level? So that's fully fertilized. And to be honest, with a lot of these fields, we can put like the first application of fertilizer down. Some of them even the seconds if you want to, but I think we could do that with the drill in, so really it's just yeah, get that initial application down done. But yeah, the weeds that's a, a bit of a problem there. So they are established, so oh, which ones? I think it's the big one here, the not the brawn, the Rubicon. Yeah, so that's got the herb site. And yeah, that is our liquid fertilizer spreader there to the right. And let's head to the field and get these weeds quickly sprayed. And there we go, we're at the field. So yeah, this shouldn't take us too long, especially with this humongous thing here. And yeah, I know we're gonna get a penalty because of the weeds already being established, but bit of a wider berth needed, so just go to the right a touch. But yeah, the reason why I that sometimes that weeds grow like this is because when it comes to spraying them, it makes life so much easier than that to just look and you go, yep, there are some weeds. That's what needs to be removed. So yeah, let's quick get this weeding done. And then that's where I think we'll leave it for today before going to the next episode of planting all of these fields and there we go we are done and yeah with this hardy rubicon that did not take long at all and to be honest i'm tempted to perhaps empty this out into the silo and then fill this up with a liquid fertilizer and do the liquid fertilizer on our fields yeah maybe as an option or at least perhaps do it after we've done the roll within that so so yeah, next time we'll be drilling all of our fields, so let's pull over here a sec, so 
got a rough plan, so now the grass has been cut. Okay, a little bit down there we've missed, so I'll get that sorted out. <laughs> no worries, so I'm going to be putting all this as wheat. We've already got wheat in here, so don't need to redrill this part, but everything else would need to be wheat. And then go to our crops. Then, yeah, I'm thinking cotton up here, sugar beet up here, corn down here. And then, yeah, for these fields, honestly, I'm not too sure. To be honest, I'm thinking like sugar cane, even like, you know, get a bit of sugar cane going so we get a bit of sugar being produced, especially for all the greenhouses and that. So, do we just say we do sugar cane on all of these fields? Even 18, which we haven't extended? To be honest, makes sense, sort of, in a way. But, anyways, that's where I'll leave it today. So, yeah. Next time we'll be planting. Today we found out the way to plow. <laughs> but anyways, as always, hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, smash the button. Feel free to down below. If you want to share some, please be my guest. If you're not subscribed to the channel yet, then please consider. But for you to do, hope you're nice day. But for now, it's me from Envoy Extreme, and I'll see you all very soon. Mm -hmm.